What's up, people? Sam here. I've just come back from spending two weeks with the family, so for once I have an excuse other than my laziness for why there was no video. Today I'm presenting to you the Orion Drive, a nuclear-powered spacecraft. And if I say nuclear-powered, I'm not talking about RTGs, I'm talking about actually using thermal nuclear bombs some 50 meters behind the spacecraft in order to use the shockwave for propulsion. Because why wouldn't you, right? If this looks familiar, I have already uploaded this to the From the Dev subreddit 10 months ago. 10 months, damn, I've been playing this game for a long time. But uh, like I said, I was gone for the week and uh, I didn't have time for to come up with anything new, so uh, I just got this craft up today to show it to you. The reason why this works is that the damage radius from the explosion from the nukes is ever so slightly smaller than the recoil force of the, the nuke actually, which means that there is a speed, sweet spot around 50 meters where uh, the nuke will push the craft away but not actually deal damage. So uh, this shield doesn't need to be repaired, it doesn't get damaged, there is uh, absolutely no harm done to our spacecraft, but it gets pushed at some pretty impressive speeds. And the rest of the craft is just some pretty straightforward problem solving, there's nothing too special about it. Like for example in here, in order to compensate for the 30 second cooldown of the blueprint spawners, I have uh, six of them here, giving you a pulse every five seconds. And for control we have a bunch of reaction wheels right here in the cockpit because wings really struggle with the pulsed speed and the irregular input. So I use reaction wheels because they are just so much more consistent and controllable and also very fitting for a spacecraft. This is obviously extremely expensive to run with every single new costing two and a half thousand credits. I don't know if it would be possible to build one with APS or CRAM. Uh, like I said, I didn't have time for it yet. But hey, feel free to experiment for yourself, find out, post it on the subreddit or here on YouTube or whatever and uh, tell me your finding because I would be super curious to find out. Plus, I guess if you combine the recoil force from the gun with the explosion, uh, that could give you a double effect. That would be nice. I didn't come up with this kind of tech, by the way. Uh, it was dreamt up in the 50s as an actual legit way to propel rockets and it was called the Orion Drive or Nuclear Pulse Rockets. They actually went into testing with that, though with chemical propulsion, not nuclear, and uh, it, it never got into production, unfortunately. Well, maybe fortunately, I don't know if throwing nukes around is really a great idea in real life. <laughs> but in theory, it would be possible to build one with our current level of technology, which makes them incredibly fascinating because it's probably the only uh, propulsion method that could allow us interplanetary or even interstellar travel over long distances. There's a few videos here on YouTube going into more detail about how it works. I'll link one or two of them into the description for you if you are interested. Anyways, that's it for today. Like I said, uh, no time, so sorry for the short video. But uh, stay tuned because I've got some pretty cool stuff upcoming in the future. Here's a little teaser of what I'm working on right now. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.